Hello, N4HNH here. I um, have an opportunity to show you a little bit about the uh, contour control uh, that Yaesu radios have. This one is an FTDX 5000 MP, but other Yaesu radios have uh, contour control, and even some other brands have this uh, feature. And I want to show you a, a, a use of it. Um, this is 40 meter band and it's been really tricky lately. The guy that's in there right now, sometimes it's 25 over 9. The band just shifts around. He's actually coming up a little bit now from what he was just a minute ago. Let me, let me show you the S meter. But he's right down at the noise floor. Uh, no, okay, let me let me explain. I've got 6 dB of attenuation and IPO because there's 5S units of noise. So remember, we've talked about this before in previous videos. You want to attack noise at the front end first before you try to handle it in the DSP. So first thing I like to do is some attenuation. That helps protect the front end of the radio anyway because we've got a lot of static crashes going on. Uh, right now because we're beginning to uh, get the outer bands of Hurricane Sally. So 6 dB of attenuation, IPO1. So that knocks the noise floor down to essentially zero. We're going to get some power line noise. Okay, there we go. Now, so you hear him in there faintly. I'm going to engage contour. Okay, no contour. So you, you can kind of pick out what he's saying without it, but it's um, you got to hear all that grind in there with it, and you got to try to separate it out with your brain. Now, of course, there's digital noise reduction. I am running it without it. Let me. I'll wait till he comes back, and I'll turn it off so you can see what he would be like without the digital noise reduction. And it can go up to 15. I will tell you, it'll, you'll still be able to hear him at 15, but the fidelity is not great. In other words, it cuts a lot of the highs. So you only want to run that as high as necessary. But I actually do usually run it at four just for casual listening. It has a great uh, effect that it puts on there. And notice this one never gets watery. Even if I go over here and disengage the attenuator and the IPO, there he is back. Right, there he is with no help. He's S6 with an S5 noise level. See it knocking the noise down? But I like to use it in, con in conjunction with contour. So now I'll engage contour and again, 6 dB of attenuation, IPO1, bring the volume up to make up for that. And now, wow, burst of noise there. So the contour, especially wearing headphones, working in a really weak station, it's the difference in being able to get your signal report or not. So there you can hear every word. I hope, I hope this translates over the uh, speaker here, over the microphone, over the camera. And there he is without contour. I'm listening at 2.4 kilohertz wide because that's the default. Um, unless you press this, the width button here in the DSP unit and increase it. Sometimes actually going a little bit wider adds a little body to it. Sometimes going narrower is better for intelligibility. So there he is back. Right. No contour.
You know, with that static crashes are, have a lot of depth to them, so sometimes it's just better to thin it. Go narrower. You see, without contour, I can tell he's talking. Now, let me show you how I've got the contour set in the menu. Contour levels at negative 15. Contour width, 1. You see what happens when you go higher. Now, what you're doing, essentially, think of contour as a notch filter that's wide. And so 11 is very wide. It's going to affect more frequencies. If you want to pinpoint what frequency you're going to affect, then you want to go to a, a smaller number. I've got mine on one. So I'll get back out of here. And so you can see in the display, and maybe you can hear the incremental changes that's making because I've got it set at a narrow setting. Now if I go to, I think the factory default is 10. See, it's not making as much of an incremental change, very wide. And sometimes it makes more sense to pinpoint the area of noise that's causing the problem, because that's essentially what you're doing with this thing is knocking out noise. And yes, it, if you hear that, it does dull it out a little bit, but it also, that's it's taking some of the noise that's at those higher frequencies out, and I can then understand what they're saying. So you're not using contour to create high fidelity. You're using contour to uh, make the station you're trying to pull out more intelligible. So anyway, I hope you uh, found this video helpful and informative. 73 from N4H&H.